Hello and welcome back to Swift Goose. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to quickly make a candlestick chart in Swift UI using the new charts that was introduced in Swift UI for iOS 16 beta and Xcode 14 beta. And you'll see we'll easily be able to track all of our crypto losses in the future. Okay, so we have a model here for the candle with the low high price and open close price. And then we've got a couple sample points that we can use for data. Let's close these out and come back to the top here. First thing we need to do is import charts. And then we're just going to make a chart. So for each candle BTC, we'll do item in. And now we want to make a rectangle mark. So you'll see you want this one with an X and a Y start, a Y end, and a width. So our X is going to be a value. We'll put a value in here of day. And the plottable is going to just be our item dot day. For the Y start, we are going to also use a value. And that's going to be our low price. That will be item dot low price. Y end, another value. And that's going to be high price. Item dot high price. And we'll add another parameter in here for width. And that's going to be four and we'll make it have a padding of 40. Okay, and since these are low and high prices, let's just make the opacity uh, 0 0.5. Let's try that for now, uh, maybe 0 0.4. And now let's make the candle bodies. So just copy our rectangle mark here, and we'll put another one. This time we'll change the width to 12. We'll have to change our low to be our open price. And the high will change to close price. And same thing here. Open price, close price. And to really make our losses shine, let's give a navigation stack to this whole thing. So navigation stack. And now we should get auto indented here. And let's add a title. Navigation title, crypto losses. There we go. So just like that, we were able to create an easy candlestick chart that allows us to buy the top and then sell the bottom and easily track all of our crypto losses. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something new. And we'll see you in the next one.